Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to day one of unit seven, which is 2D geometry. And I'm super excited to get into this new unit today. I, I don't know what comes to your mind when you hear the word uh, geometry. Maybe it's shapes and you are exactly right. We are gonna be uh, looking into some shapes uh, later on in the unit. But today we're gonna start with the basis of shapes, which are kind of angles, right? Angles are formed whenever two lines come together, right? They make an angle. And so today we are going to be looking at uh, different relationships of different angles. Angles are everywhere. The chair you're sitting in right now has angles, right? This board has certain angles. The person's head sitting next to you has angles. I don't know why I said that. That has nothing to do with what we're actually going to be looking at uh, today. But the, the point is, angles are important, people. All right. And so today we're going to be looking at four different types of angles. There are more than just these four. Uh, but today we're going to be looking at four different types of angles uh, and their relationships. All right. So let me stop talking about angles and let me actually tell you about them. All right. And show you some. So uh, the first type of angle that you need to know is complementary angles. Say it with me, complementary angles, right? Complementary angles. And complementary angles are any two angles that add up to give you 90 degrees, okay? So when you add two angles up and they give you 90 degrees, they're complementary. So in this first example, I have this angle is 40 degrees, and then this angle is 50 degrees, and when you add 40 plus 50, that gives you 90, okay? One way you can see that complementary angles add up to equal 90 is whenever uh, an angle has that little box in the, the corner, that does mean that the angle is 90 degrees, okay? So that little box indicates that those angles are 90. Now, you also need to understand that complementary angles, they don't have to be next to each other. So in the case of our second example, we have angle A, B, C, and then we have angles A, I'm sorry, D, E, F, okay? Angle uh, A, B, C is 55, and then angle D, E, F, right, is 35, and so 55 plus 35 equals 90, right? And so, again, this shows me that complementary angles add up to give me 90, right? In the case of this one, 40 plus 50, is 90. These are complementary angles. So complementary angles add up to give you 90, all right? The second type of angles I want to talk about are called supplementary angles. Say it with me. Supplementary angles. Supplementary angles, all right? Supplementary angles, um, they add up not to give you 90, but to give you 180, okay? So supplementary angles add up to give you 180, okay? So let's look at our example here. We got this angle, which is 40. Then we got this angle, which is 140. And so 40 plus 140 equals 180, okay? So again, these two angles add up to give you 180. There's no example here, but in the same way, right, you don't, they don't have to be next to each other, right? So imagine if I had, say this was 135, and then this was down here, um, and then that one would be 45, right? Again, these two aren't touching, but 135 plus 45 is going to give me 180, all right? So supplementary angles um, add up to give you 180. The other thing I want to point out before I move on is that when you have these supplementary angles, right, and it gives you 180, it is going to give you a straight line, okay? So 40 plus 140, it makes this straight line, and that supplementary angles make a straight line, okay, uh, in, when, they, when they form, all right? Um, Actually, I got, a, got ahead of myself. A, adjacent supplementary angles uh, make a straight line, which is, let me, let's just go ahead and do these now. So linear pair. So when two angles are adjacent to each other, meaning they are touching, okay, then they form a line. That's kind of the point I was just showing you. So for example, 
one, this angle right here, angle one, and then angle two, let me do that again. angle one, and then angle two, okay, that equals 180, and that forms a straight line. So when they are adjacent, when they're adjacent means that they're touching each other, right? They're right next to each other, all right? Uh, they share a common side. When they're right beside each other, you will see that adjacent uh, angles, uh, adja linear. these are called linear pairs, all right? Uh, this is not a different type of angle. It's just the specific name that you give to it, all right? So angle one and angle three together, okay? So this time, look at angle one and angle three. You see these are together. Uh, those two angles make this straight line and that equals 180 okay so uh, i'll come back to talking about well actually that just told us so again adjacent angles are two angles that share a common vertex and one common side okay they don't overlap so again not all adjacent angles equal 180 in this case i have angle a b c okay and then c b D, okay, both of these have B and both of them share B, C, okay? So again, this is angle A, B, C, and then this is angle um, C, B, D, okay? They both have, they both have the C and they both have B, C, okay? They both share that side, okay? So that's what makes Two adjacent ang or two angles adjacent is when they share a common vertex. The common vertex is B, okay, and then the side is BC, and that's BC or CB. Same same thing, just a different way of saying it. All right. Now, let let so so far I've talked about three types of angles: complementary, uh, meaning they uh, have add up to equal ninety; supplementary. They add up to equal 180. Adjacent angles, those are two angles that are side by side and they share a, a, a vertex and a side. And then lastly is vertical angles, okay? When two lines intersect, four angles create uh, are created having a point of intersection at the vertex, okay? So they, okay, vertex is where the points comes together. Um, the angles that are opposite from each other are considered to be vertical angles. So in this case, angle A and angle B, those are opposite from each other, right? These are opposite from each other, okay? Uh, they are also congruent, which means they are equal. Okay. So what you need to know about vertical angles is that they are equal. In other words, angle A okay, is equal to angle B, because they are across from each other, all right? And again, if you really wanted to see this, we could take out protractors and I can show you that these angles are the same, uh, but they are, right? They are the same, uh, you know, uh, they have the same degree uh, of measure, each of the, those two angles. So angles that are across from each other are equal, all right? So those are our four types of angles, complementary, supplementary, adjacent, and vertical. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to apply what we just learned, okay? So I have six examples here, and I want you to, again, you are naming the relationship. It's either complementary, supplementary, vertical, or adjacent. Those are the four types of angles, okay? Um, and so I want you to write the name that best describes the angles. Okay, so write down the name that best describes uh, the angles that are labeled, all right? So I want you to pause this video and I want you to try to do those on your own. All right, here we go. So first one, we have angle A and then angle B and these are opposite of each other. So because they are opposite, these are vertical angles, okay? They're vertical angles. And again, vertical angles 
you need to know this, vertical angles are equal to each other. So what that means is angle A is equal to angle B. All right? Vertical angles. Letter B. You have angle A and then you have angle B. Okay? Now, these two angles, they come together and they kind of make this straight line. And so they are supplementary okay that is the best description okay of them but they are also adjacent because they are they share this line okay so the these are supplementary but they also are adjacent so if you put adjacent you're not wrong uh, but you also because they do form this straight line you do need to know that they also are supplementary okay so they, what you need to know is angle A plus angle B is going to equal 180, okay? Again, because they are supplementary, that's the definition of supplementary. Angle A plus angle B, it equals 180. Moving on. C, right? Now, again, I, these two angles, they have that little square. That little square tells me what? that I have a right angle. It tells me that I got a right angle, okay? So if two angles form a right angle, then they are complementary, okay? Complementary. And, and again, what that means is angle A plus angle B equals 90, okay? So angle A plus angle B equals 90 because they are complementary. All right. Let's continue on. Letter D. It B and angle A and angle B. These are opposite of each other. And so these are vertical. Okay. Again, angle A is equal to angle B here. In this case, letter E. So this time my box is on the other side. So it's not on my angles, but it's on the other side. But if this angle is 90, then what is the other side equal to? It also equals 90 because 90 plus 90 is 180, which would then be the straight line. Okay. So, uh, so these two together also, right? These are also equal 90. So these are complementary. Okay. Again, I also forgot to say this. These are also ad adjacent. Okay. Same thing with letter C. Sorry, forgot to go. This is also adjacent. Why are they adjacent? Why are both of these adjacent? Because they share this side right here. Okay. They both have this side. All right. They're touching. Right. Whenever they're touching, they are adjacent angles. All right. Um, so in this case. Again, angle A, because they're complementary though, angle A and angle B is equal to 90. And then last one here, okay? We got angle A and then we got angle B. Now this need this doesn't have the square, so it doesn't, they're not 90, they don't add up to equal 90, nor is it a straight line, okay? So they're not complementary, nor are they supplementary. And they're not vertical because they're not across from each other. And so these, uh, the best description for this one is adjacent, okay? Uh, just saying that they share a same, they have one vertex. The vertex that they share is right here. And then the side that they share is that one right there, all right? So, guys, there you have it. That is the information that you need for all the types of angles, okay? Now, we are going to continue on. We're not done, okay? You have all the information, but now we are going to take this information and begin to apply it to not just having letters for numbers, but actual numbers and angles themselves, okay? And so what we're gonna do in this last section is we are going to find a missing angle. So I'm gonna give you one of the angles and then using our relationships, what we just learned about them, we're gonna figure out what the missing one is, all right? So 
Let's look at the first one. The first one is uh, what type of relationship? Well, it has this box, so that tells me it is a right angle, okay? And so because it is a right angle, it is 90 degrees, and that is complementary, okay? So these are complementary. So what that means is angle B plus angle uh, plus 65 is gonna give me 90 degrees, okay? So B plus 65, those add up to equal 90, okay? So in order to get that, all I gotta do is I gotta take this 90 and subtract that 65, right, to get B. Another way to do it, just based on, you know, uh, um, solving a simple equation, you just do the inverse operation, right? Just subtract it, okay? It's 90 minus 65, and that's gonna give me 25, okay? So 25 degrees. So again, we know these two together equal 90. Take 90 and subtract that, all right? For letter B, okay, you got this angle, that says that's 46, and then angle B, those are opposite of each other, so they are vertical angles, okay? And so the angle, if they're vertical angles, then angle B is going to be equal to that one, which is 46, and that is uh, the answer for that one, is they're, they're equal, okay? Uh, letter C, okay, you have Again, this one is a 90, so that means the other side is also 90. So when these you add these two angles up, you're going to get that they are complementary. You get because they're they both add up to give you 90. Okay. So again, if these two equal 90, right? All I got to do is take take that away from 90. So 90 minus 39, that's gonna give it to me, okay? Another way I can set this up is B plus 39 equals 90. Well, how do I solve that? We've been doing this. We do the inverse operation, okay? And then you get B equals 51 degrees. Okay. So the angle is 51 degrees. That's 51 degrees. This would be 46 degrees. And then this would be 20, 25 degrees. All right. Moving on. Almost done. Home stretch. Okay. These angles to the 48, these are supplementary because you add this angle. And then this angle, and you get a straight, this straight line, right? So they are supplementary. What supplementary angles mean that they add up to give you 180. So X plus 48 equals 180, okay? Or you could have looked at it the other way and said Y plus 48 equals 180. All right, either way, you're going to end up getting the same thing because both of these are right, opposite of each other so that we know they're equal to, right? They're adjacent, they're adjacent. I'm sorry, they're vertical, they're vertical, right? So we subtract 48, subtract 48, that's gonna give me X equals 132 degrees, okay? Same thing, right? Subtract 48, subtract 48, and we see, okay, that they're both, um, 132 degrees because they're uh, they, they're supplementary to this one, all right? And then they're the same because they both are opposite, all right? Next one, 37, 75, and then X. All of these angles together, when you put them all together, it's gonna give you this straight line, okay? So they are supplementary, all right? They add up to equal 180. So 37 plus 75 plus X is gonna add up to give you 180. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these two. That's gonna give me 112 plus X equals 180. Okay. Now to get the X by itself, I'm gonna just subtract the 112 from that. That gives me X equals, 
then that is 68 degrees. All right, 68 degrees. And then lastly, again, what is that? Little box in the corner tell you tells you that it's a right angle. Okay, right angles. This is 90 degrees, so therefore it's complementary. Okay, so 52 plus x equals 90. Right. To get what this missing one is, I just gotta subtract the 52 from 90. That leaves me with. 38 degrees, all right? Not sure about you. Yes, that was a lot of work, but guys, it really is, it, what it all comes down to is just, you know, knowing what the relationship is between the angles, okay? If it's complementary, it adds up to give you 90. If it's supplementary, it adds up to give you 180, okay? Vertical angles opposite or equal and then Adjacent angles just mean they share a, a, a side. Okay now listen if you're thinking that was a lot But I still don't understand it is okay because what you're gonna do now is you're gonna Practice this okay, you're gonna apply it to uh, some problems so I have a Desmos activity uh, that you are going to work on that allows you to practice this. You must use your notes, um, refer to it, uh, and the more practice that you get with this, I am confident uh, you're gonna uh, understand and be able to apply this, all right? So, hopefully this has helped you. Ask any questions, comment uh, if you need to. Be happy to help you, and uh, look forward to the next lesson.